what's up guys it's Steph and today we're not going to be talking about books or musicals but we're still talking about something we're talking about music and in case you couldn't guess by my shirts you know who we're talking about or by the title which I'm sure you read before clicking on this video we're talking about mania and my thoughts on mania so far and the whole album and fallout boy which, by the way, the day I'm filming this, they got um, entered into the Hall of Fame for Rock Sound. And it's like, hell yeah, my boys! And then All Time Logo Album of the Year. I'm not sure who else won. I'm just going off like what was retweeted on my, um, <laughs> who I got notifications for. And I was like, yeah, my boys! I'm so proud of them. All Time Logo, Blessing, Renegade, and Fall Out Boy for just being Fall Out Boy. It's awesome. So I thought I'd take a moment since Mania got pushed back to next year, like right after my birthday. And I'm like... <laughs> just so I share some of my thoughts on Mania so far with the songs that are released, the songs that aren't released, and just kind of talk about it because I like to talk about music and stuff and I haven't really done anything like this on the channel yet and why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> so the first song we got from Mania was Young and the Menace and I'll be honest with you guys, at first I was kind of iffy on the song. It sounded cool but at the same time I was like as I kept listening to it, it did grow on me. I really do enjoy it now. It's just at first, it was just kind of like, hmm, hmm, not sure, not sure, kind of leaning towards a maybe don't side. But listening to it more, it really grew on me. I really like the sound. The video is interesting. <laughs> the Lava Monsters. We're getting to the Lava Monsters later because I've got. I want to talk about the Lava Monsters because they're fun. <laughs> Next up, we have Champion, an absolute bop. If I can live through this, I can do anything. <laughs> oh, it was such a good song. It's like automatic, like yes, yes, yes. And the fact that you can actually hear it on the radio is like, yay! It's so awesome. Uh, it just has that sound, and it has that just draws you in. It's so good, so good. And like talking to friends who like really didn't like Young and Menace, they're like, the, and like talk to them about Champion. It's like, yes, they bounced back. It's like it's such an interesting thing to th when you think about the Mania. Let's moving away from like the songs for a second. Such an interesting thing when you look at like everything leading up to it and like what we get, the samples of what we get. It's gonna be such an interesting album to hear in its entirety, and I'm so excited for it. It's like you have Young and Miss, which they they said was like the farthest left field you could get. There, there, they went in the, with the album. Then you have Champion, that's just like this bop. And then let's move on to the last of the real ones, which hell yes, good song, really good song. Love the llama, love the llama monster murder in the video. Really good. Loved it. <laughs> and then hold me tight or don't. The vi the video. The video was freaking beautiful. The visuals. The oh. Oh, I love that video so much. It was just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. If you haven't watched the video for, uh, <laughs> for hold me tight or don't, I really recommend it. It was such a cool, like, Dia de los Muertos and just like Day of the Dead. Oh, it was so so cool the visuals were everything i love the visuals i think i love the visuals more than the actual song don't get me wrong i like the song and i like like the beats but that video was just like i was so glued to it i had to listen to the song another time because i was like just focusing on the video visuals and like heard practically none of the song all right then let's look at some of like the unreleased tracks someone gets like some first questions because i haven't looked at all of them i only like knew they were released because I was watching Hannah Hoffman's video earlier, let's be honest, because I like her doodles. If you have, if you don't, like, she drew the songs from, the released songs from Young and Menace. Young and Menace. She drew the unreleased, or the released songs from Mania and one unreleased song. And I'll leave that in the icon because I love her videos. I love her art style. It's great. You should go watch it. Support her because she's amazing. <laughs> um, so first we have Stay Frosty Royal Milk. That one seems very interesting. Very, like, I remember when that, I've heard of that one because literally the Stay Frosty jokes were fucking everywhere and it was great. <laughs> so there's Bishop's Knife knife Trick. Seems interesting. Sunshine Riptide featuring I Can't See Who It Features because it's cut off. Heaven's Gate. Cults. I think Ness actually told me about, my friend actually told me about this one. Cults? See, that would be fun. Let's talk about cults. Church. Okay, that's really funny. You have church and then like a cult song. So, I love the I love the where this is going. <laughs> Wilson, expensive what? It won't let me see the rest of the song. Expensive mistakes. Wilson, expensive mistakes. Wilson. Ooh, I'm 
I'm really interested to see what these songs turn out to be because everything off this album has been like so unique. There is a similar sound between some of the songs. But, like, everything is so unique so far. I'm really interested to see what this album is. I'm especially interested, like, between the difference between Church and Heaven's Gates. Because you have religion and a cult. Unless I'm, like, reading too deep into the names. They're just like, there's nothing to do with the song. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Especially, they're about the same length. Heaven's Gate is about 10, 13 seconds longer. Bishop's Knife Trick is the longest song at 4 minutes, 23 seconds. That was gonna, definitely going to be interesting. And that's the closer, so... Interesting. <laughs> Stay Frosty, Run, and Milk it looks like the short, shortest one. So, really interesting. Uh, I'm just so excited for this album, guys. I'm like... Fall Out Boy content. I love Fall Out Boy and listening to like, their music. Like... Ah, I'm so excited. At the same time, I'm like so freaking scared. As to what it'll be and whether it's like... I'm gonna like it or not because like I said with the very first song released I was so nervous about mania because at first I didn't really like it that much like I said it had to grow on me and at first I was like oh no I'm not gonna like mania I can't not like something by one of my favorite bands this, this isn't good this is no no <laughs> but like I said it grew on me and hopefully like because everything released uh, like after it has also been really good so hopefully mania is really awesome like the song titles are really interesting so yeah this video might have been kind of boring, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kind of talking about, like, the album and, like, excitement. Oh, we didn't even talk about the llama monsters, guys. Like, the conspiracies around the llama monsters are so freaking fun. I love that Brennan... Come on, Brennan. They released that video. Brennan is one of the llama monsters. Totally. <laughs> the question is, who's the second llama monster? I don't know. I'm not in that in-depth with the conspiracy theories. I really enjoy the conspiracy theory that um, Spencer is DCD D2. Which, if you don't know about that one, there's, like, a Twitter thing going, like, there's someone made a thread about it on Twitter. I don't have a link to it, but it's a thing, let me tell you. It's, it's a thing. And it's very, like, it makes sense. Conspiracies. <laughs> so, yeah. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you liked me talking about Mania and you want me to talk about some other, like, upcoming albums that I'm really excited for... Go ahead and like leave a like a like on this video and comment down below. I don't know how YouTube works. <laughs> um, just whatever. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. Have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later.